Welcome to the Nog Vlog. We have returned to the Lone Star State, our home state, for our next cruise adventure. After seven straight sailings aboard Carnival Cruise Line, this go-around will be our first time aboard Royal Caribbean. We'll be sailing on a five-day journey on the massive but majestic Allure of the Seas. The embarkation day began with a stroll along Galveston Beach to get powered up and prepared for what was going to be a busy and bustling embarkation day. Come take a trip with us aboard the Allure of the Seas. Good morning! We've made it to the Allure of the Seas. We're about to board this behemoth of a ship. Charlie wants to take the very first step onto the ship. I don't count. I'm just a camera guy. So our room is one of those windows right there. Oh, really? So y'all's room would be somewhere up that way. Are you on the on or an even? Or does that matter? On. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can get on those. Those are just decorations. <laughs> it's so cool. We are on the Royal Caribbean ship right now. We are on the carousel. Are we the first people on the carousel, the whole cruise? Yep. Cleo. Here we go! <laughs> You're cheetah so fast! Okay, now it's on fire! Hi, hey, Charlie. We were not prepared to get on the ship this fast. It's 11.34 a.m. and we've already knocked out muster. We've already, there's a little bit of uh, filming. We like to do some of the ship tour when we first start in places that we normally can't go when the ship's on full operation. We've set up all of our phones for chat with our family. This morning, I was eating breakfast and my tooth dropped wiggling. Every cruise. It hurted really, really bad. Every cruise, she loses that tooth. Is it still bloody? No. No. But we saved it. We saved it. Because the tooth fairy, as proven in the past, comes to cruise ships. Yes. So we'll see what she brings you. So we also went to guest services and got Charlie's wristband. Can you show that off? It's red, not green. Ah. We have to wait till 1 o'clock to go to our rooms, 1.30 to go check in at Adventure Ocean. But we're going to have our first drinks of the cruise and our first drinks of the deluxe beverage package and give it a try. <laughs> then we'll go and find the rest of our family up at the uh, Windjammer buffet and grab some lunch for ourselves too. All right, came to the Wipeout Cafe. Got some nachos, quesadilla, taco, chicken quesadillas. <laughs> How was it? They were good. They were yeah. Good. Yeah, the quesadilla was really good. The nachos were okay, and the, my taco was pretty good. Mm -hmm. All the toppings, they have a little ice cream, soft serve in there. Charlie's having some nachos and a taco. She's pretty happy. They have a lot of meat options, chicken, beef, steak, and all the toppings you could want. So it was pretty good. So it's pretty hidden. The wind jammer's right above us, and then the Wipeout Cafe is here, so it was, not crowded at all. We just walked in, loaded up, and now we're eating. So I skipped up to the buffet and grabbed a burger, a salad, some mac and cheese, and some bread pudding. I also got some fruit, but I ended up having to give that to the kids. Probably better that they have that than I do. So I'm only gonna eat a little bit of this because we eat at five o'clock. I don't know why when we booked this, we picked the five o'clock dining, but that's what we did. So 
We're gonna eat at five o'clock and I'm gonna have a big, big meal there. That's what we're gonna go do next. Go find a bar, get some drinks. We got a lot of people with the deluxe beverage package, so we wanna take advantage of that. Then we're gonna head to our room, probably drop off all these heavy bags, and then at 1.30, check our daughter into Adventure Ocean, the kids area here on the, the lower of the seas. It's really our next to Carl. You're gonna have to change it. Curvy fuel because they always run out of ginger beer towards the end. And what do you know? The first day, and he can't find the ginger beer. <laughs> He's running up the stairs to find the ginger beer. I feel so bad. Next time. He's got some. <laughs> I won't do that to you again. <laughs> All right, we have boarded, we mustard, we got our kid wristband, we have eaten, we have had two drinks. Yes. We're about to get into the stay rooms. They open at 1 p.m. So we're about five minutes away from dropping off our backpacks. Be sure to check out our room tour of the interior promenade. We're gonna be right in front of the Sorrento's Pizza. Have a great view of all the late night snacking. <laughs> if I go get late night pizza, you'll be able to catch me? Yes. <laughs> she only knew what I didn't include in our food compilation videos. Sometimes I've seen plate evidence when I wake <laughs> up in the morning and I'm like, when did we have pizza? <laughs> what do you think of the ship so far? It's really pretty. I mean, we've only explored like it's sea fint. We did take the very first ride on the carousel of this cruise that was fun how about the staff the staff has been great i had a bartender already have to run up a couple flights of stairs to get ginger beer for me i would have ordered something else but he was very nice his name was raul and he ran and got me ginger beer he was great so far the only thing i haven't liked is if you're traveling with children it's very convenient when you go to your mustard that they have the wristbands for the children, but I had to go all the way to guest services after that. So I think that guy told you wrong and actually ages like three to 11, the wristbands are in our room. So we're gonna go to our room and they're gonna be in there just like they were at. Okay, well he-, he We did that, that happened on Celebration. We got our wristbands at Muster and then we went to our room and there was an extra wristband in there. True. So yeah, we asked about it and he said we had to go to guest services. So if that's true and there's wristbands in our room, the guest service line wasn't long, but still. All right, Charlie. What do you like about the ship so far? That your cousin's here? <laughs> you decided to go to Adventure Ocean and play with her there? I can't wait to take the tour. You guys are going to stay outside. They'll, they'll give us a tour, but that's the only time we get to go. Mm -hmm. Mama, you are going to stay outside. Daddy, it's to go inside just because we need such a way down there. I've got the pointer. He gives me special powers. It's like a magic wand. Can this be my pointer? They do have regular straws. Yes, they do have straws. Well, they're like recycled. They're, they're like paper. But yeah, but paper plastic. <laughs> hardier. All right, doors are opening. We gotta go check you on the other side. <laughs> the roof covers are on. The doors are open, so it's like a scavenger hunt. One eight five. It's the second one from the end when it stops up here. Okay. So you go about forty feet. I'm making it. I'm making it. Here we are in our room. Wait. Open oh, well. them up. She always gets the honors. Woo! Mommy, you get We look like noobs. I'm going to say it's blue card. Thanks. Me? Daddy. Why did you drop mine? Yellow. Is that what you think of me? All right. Yeah, Let's do a room tour. It is almost two o'clock. We're still here in Adventure Ocean. The kids 
camp here on the Allure of the Seas and we are just waiting to get checked in. It's been kind of a busy morning. It's it's hectic trying to cruise with so many people. We've got 10 total from our family on this sailing. We've got seven others from two other friends of ours that are on this sailing. We haven't even met with them yet. We've added them on the chat, but we haven't even tried to connect there. Everyone often looks at us to try to organize things and know where things are. This is our first time on Royal Caribbean ships, so we have no clue how things operate. We're learning as we go here. But after this, we might try to go to the spa and see if we can do a spa tour. It was always nice on the last two cruises that we did just to get a glimpse of that. Not sure we'll actually use the spa on the sailing, but we might as well go ahead and see if there's any raffles, any tasters, and just get some footage from, from that area. Otherwise, we might hang out in our room and just get some water in us, rest a little bit, and we sail away at five o'clock but our dinner's also at five. So it might be good just to rest up just a little bit before we head to that. It's pretty good. It's got a nice selection of meats and cheeses, a little stuffed pepper, olives, a really hard crostini. Nice little light starter. So for me, I got two appetizers: the garden salad and the Maryland style crab cake. Got the garden salad first. It's all right. It's probably all I'm gonna eat of it. I got the. Caribbean pork chop and it had plantain and like a Jamaican dumpling which is kind of like a cornbread stick, rice and beans. The jerk is really spicy, great flavor and then the spicy pork with the bite of plantain with the sweet is the perfect balance. Good choice. So I was about to get this surf and turf. It's thirty-five dollars extra here for a lobster tail and a steak. Prime, uh, not prime rib. There's prime rib tonight, but uh, it would have been late. Like. I wanted to try something new, something that I hadn't had before. But I tried the polenta, and it's a baked polenta. It was all right. The tomato sauce on it was really good. The crisp vegetables were really good. But I just want some more protein, and again, I wanted to try something new. So. Um, if you're going for the vegetarian option, it's, it's pretty good, but uh, that's what we're here for, Let's try new things. I don't have any more left on my plate, but I will say the olives that come with this, as well as the olive that was on Franny's antipasta that she gave me, antipasti, antipasti. <laughs> that she gave me, plus the olives that were on here were potent. I've never tasted olives with that much flavor before. I'm interested to see if that's the same all the way across the ship. Perfect. Key lime pie. Good crust. Nice and tart and limey. Um, healthy layer of whipped cream on top. And the uh, filling is perfect. Delicious creme brulee. Ooh. I can taste the blowtorch <laughs> in a good way. That caramelization. Custardy. I wish it was a little warmer. It's not that it's cold. No, I just wish it was a little warmer. I don't know. But it still tastes really delicious. I'm going to eat all of it. So, no Charlie footage tonight because she abandoned us. She's right there. <laughs> she ain't with those people tonight. <laughs> but she had yeah. the spaghetti bolognese and Appetizer, they brought all these, the children, like a little martini glass filled up with fruit. So that's what you got. What'd you get? What's this, Cleo? Ice cream? Uh, strawberry? Is that strawberry ice cream? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Is that chocolate ice cream? Say, it's my ice cream. Is it my ice cream? Can I have a bite? Thank you. Let me try your soup. Uh, <laughs> Brandy offer. Yeah, she didn't take it. And then we thought she was a girl, so not feel bad. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, you care when I take a picture. Oh, All right. <laughs> okay. All right, where's my $20? Ta da! Okay. What? Charlie, come show me what you got. Let's take these ducks to go party and such a party. This is the Assassin's Creed duck. Okay, we just finished up dinner at the main dining room and we are headed to Central Park to enjoy some live music. It's right there. Yeah. We found a little small wonder on our way. Oh yeah, we got a napkin duck at dinner tonight. We're just waiting for the rest of our people. We had to share elevators. Is that a dress? Those are dresses. Yeah, they are. We walked under them. They're pretty cool. What? All right, this is Charlie's first small wonder. We need to go and check how many of these are across the ship. I think it's at least a dozen, if not more. What do you see? Does it? You see an old castle? Yeah, it's oh. It's kind of blurry, but... Hold on, but I think I can do the focus. You get the idea. So, we gotta find these across the whole ship, okay? Can I look? No. <laughs> Show me some dance moves. Embarkation day is about to end. Actually, no, we've got still a lot of stuff we're gonna do today. It's really, uh, I think it's uh, nine o'clock. So after dinner, we went to a couple of different bars, definitely using that deluxe drink package. Be sure you check out our video about that deluxe drink package and all it has to offer. I think it might be a little better than carnivals. We'll have to see. We just left karaoke, it's family karaoke. We found all of our friends that are on the ship. Our family was there too. We literally had everyone all 17 of us. All 17 of us that are on this particular cruise are all together, at least at once. We're about to do a comedy show here in the Amber Theater. That's the uh, the main showroom here in the front of the ship. And then we'll go do the, I don't know what it's called, the sailway party or the midnight party. Um, but then, uh, yeah, this, it, it's some embarkation day party. And then they do a balloon drop at midnight. So hopefully we can make it till then. Two Spirit has to come tonight, so we might have to be parents later. How you feel so far? Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm definitely in, indulging in my drink package more than I thought I would. So we'll see how early I get up. We'll see how early we start C Day tomorrow. Yep. The show's starting. We gotta go. Bye. A very good evening, everybody, and welcome to our welcome aboard Captain Your cruise director, Corey. Yeah.
almost made that! Yeah. 